Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. So, the last part, we left off a really exciting bit. So, Asha had just fought against some of the old slaves, and he was basically trying to gain their respect so that they could join him and fight with the foresters. Hopefully that will have worked, but then it looked like we were going back to the Three Musketeers um, over the other side of the north of the wall. So we're gonna head back there, and there was a White Walker, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to fight a White Walker. There it is. That's a lovely sound. Oh I my god. Them. What are those things? Oh, over here! Over here! Get out! Leave me alone! Not another battle! Cute! Oh my god! No! Get away from me! Get her! Yes! Come on! Oh my god. How? You have a they knife. Die. Anything can be killed. Oh my god. Finn, be careful. She has an Oh no, Finn! Oh, someone help. Come on. Jared, Get it. Oh my days. Ugh. Oh Finn. Stay with me! I, I think he's gonna. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Get off! Q! Come on! Oh my god, what? I'm pressing Q. Come on! <gasps> oh, cheers, mate. Could have told me to do that earlier. Cut its head off. We need fire! It's the only way! Go, go, go! Oh, Jesus, are you kidding me? <laughs> My sentiment is exactly. Why didn't I go for a neck? Damn it. Come on, Garrod. Pick it up. Fuck off, I don't want you here. Get the fire! Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There we go. That's what I like to see. Gareth, there's one behind you. Get her. Yes. Hell yes. Ugh. <laughs> Where, where's Finn? He was over there. Dead. Oh, he's gonna be a White Walker, isn't he? Are you kidding? <laughs> There's an army of White Walkers. We make the North Grove. Yep. But we need to stick together. Come on, Sylvie. Run. No. Go, 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 go. Oh, you're right about this, Garrett. We are. I can't actually say that, but god damn I hope we are. Because jeez. We need, like, the children to help us. Whew. That was stressful. Can this be calmer now? Can we not have any more combat for a while, please? Because I'm reaching the end of my tether. <laughs> oh, great. Why, You're Cersei? You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? No. Certainly you've been here before. No. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. No! Get out! You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? Yeah. One can never tell with the northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. 
I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet... Uh, what do you mean by Lincoln that? Lincoln tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Hey, she's our friend. Good. We wing woman. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. Come on, it was Cersei. Crucial I attend. You get your that. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Oh, jeez. Your Grace? Why? Quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. And if I refuse, Your Grace? Refuse? <laughs> and be branded a traitor like my brother? I, I understand, Your Grace. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I don't know if I trust Cersei. I never like the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. I don't think I do trust her. <laughs> it's Cersei after all. Oh, why do they all get us to play a part in it? Why isn't this game ever easy? Why can't we just go back to House Forester and live a happy, quiet life? You think we hired this boat for nothing? Oh, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. <laughs> Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Well, that's a little army, but at least they're all... Fesco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. And what about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. <laughs> My thoughts will Official. be with you in the fight to come. Asher, iron from ice. 
Iron from ice. Casting off! Ash is on his way back home. There is only about five of Take them, this. to be honest, but... It'll help loosen his tongue. Still. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. You don't think he can hear you right now? There's no window. There, there was a window on that door. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger. And you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. <laughs> Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the north. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. Wine being one of them. <laughs> oh, Tyrion. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. Oh, I feel sorry for him. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. No. <laughs> Why do you say that? This is all a ruse, isn't it? No. Sorry? Definitely not. You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's oh. the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. Do we? Do we help him? So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? No. I know I'm not wrong. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. I'll piss off. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. I'm the one using her. If that's what you think, then you're more foolish than I thought. She's taking care of a problem for me. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it. That way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Though I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I don't think I, I did wish that you right. well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust.
this game is literally never straightforward. No one in this game is straightforward. They're all liars. I don't like liars. I can't play as a liar. Oh, I don't understand it. Oh, A up. Push to leave. Ooh. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. My only regret is what happened to your brother. If I'd only... Please, let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. What will we do now? I now think that you know. What we are. We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. Aww. Hopalong's finally happy. Roderick? Oh. Awkward. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. <laughs> Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realise you two were... It's alright, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's alright. I can go. You two need to speak. <laughs> this is awkward. I'll see you soon, I hope. <laughs> oh, man. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? The Look. traitor. Who is it? This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? He even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Who? Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. Who? But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. Tell me, you have Talia. To deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to oh, die. Oh, just freaking tell me who it is. I'm asking you as your sister. Make him pay. Oh, don't promise it. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Just tell me, brat. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. I'll lock him up. He won't be able to leave. I'm not just going to kill him straight off the bat. Which one is it? Duncan or the fighter? Or the other guy who helps people? The maester. Bum, bum, bum. Go get the big guns. reveal. Is it? <laughs> is it going to be a big reveal or are they going to leave us hanging? Who is it? Hey! Oh, my lord. You scared the bloody devil. Oh, you bastard. What's that? You, you know tell exactly me. what it you is. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Start talking. Yes, I have been working with the White Hills. Bastard! But only because you stopped listening to reason. Did I now? 
You pushed me to this, Roderick. Don't you dare start making excuses. Excuses? Are you that naive? Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring when you knew we had to show strength. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed! You know, Froyland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. You betrayed us all, Roiland. My father included! I've held true to what I believed, which is more than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath for I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher Punch knows him. how to act. Yes. Shut your fucking mouth. Finally showing some spine. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Oh, Somebody you. Set him free. Dick. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick! I'll spare your life. Now talk. Oh, Talia, don't go bitching at me. You're a kid. Mira cost Luddy's army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! You must protect Asher. Protect the true lord of this house. Take this traitor away. Get your hands off me! What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Don't ask me, I don't freaking know. Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Was that a good choice? I don't know. I really don't know with this game anymore. I have no idea which way this is gonna go. You smell that? We're almost there, Veska. Let's have a look. Oi, boys. On, break it up. Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. The Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. I'm just another sword. No different than any of you. Roderick is the rightful Lord. Trust me, everyone will love him. They'll want to fight for him. Hey, if he's anything like you... Well, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Beshka. You really know how to man feel good about himself. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. Oh, Hardly most definitely. No... Right. It's gonna be a big fight. Bring it on. I'm ready oh, for this it. This couldn't be easy, could it? <laughs> of course.
course not. That's been my whole thought process throughout this whole game, Asha. I'm glad we're on the same page, though. I feel like me and Asha Say, really this connect. This is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. <laughs> I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Fair point. Asha, thank the gods you've made it back. I brought you an army, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. What? What the hell? Get out. Are you kidding me? Oh jeez, this is a bigger fight than I thought it would be. Come on! How many traitors do we have? Come on. You. Oh no! Shit. Out of my way. How is he still doing that? It's like three arrows in his back. Oh my god, the poor man! Asha, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Stop! Oh no! God damn it! Why? Come on, Asha. Raise the gate. Come on. They've got us outnumbered. Oh shit! Come on. Hurry up. We have to get out of here. Stop coming through. Just leave us. Advance. No. Don't advance. Don't do that to me. It will fall without one of us holding it. Oh god. One of us has to stay. Oh, um, don't make me decide. Don't make me do this. No. <laughs> I'm going to say that he should st Oh, but Lord, you must hurry. Oh jeez. No. We need you to lead our house. Oh my, my god. Lord. You have to get out of there! Oh no! Let me save your life and our house. Oh my god. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why did I just have I'll to hold make them that? Off. But my lord, you Asher can't! Asher is your new lord. <sighs> yes, my lord. Roderick! Go! Jesus, are you freaking kidding me? That was the hardest decision I've ever had to make in a Telltale game. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. No. Oh my god, this is horrible. Why? This is so painful to watch. Oh my god. Roderick. Oh my god. Roderick, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why do you make me make that choice and sit through that? Oh my god. That's episode 5 done. Oh, I'm like almost crying. Why the hell would a game do that to someone? That was so... 
I li I'm, I'm literally just want to break down in tears right now. That was so unnecessary. Oh my god. So, moving on to the stats. You and 62% did not try to stab Ramsay Snow. You and 41% killed Bloodsong. Oh, I thought that would be more, quite honestly. You and 36% told Tyrion that Cersei sent you. I seem to be in the major uh, minority for most of these, which I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. <laughs> you and 41% chose to imprison the traitor, and me and 58% had Roderick stay behind. So at least we're in the majority for that one. Like, that was pretty much the most important decision, I'm fairly sure. But OMG, I cannot believe that game just made me do that. I'm in shock. I'm like, poor Roderick. So guys, that was the end of episode 5. Sorry that I sounded so messed up in this part. I just, that was pretty much one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in a choice-based game. Like... That was probably actually the hardest, and it was horrendous. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed episode 5. Only one more episode of Game of Thrones left, which will probably be about four or five parts. And I honestly have no idea which way this game is going to go, but that was horrendous. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments, leave your reactions to how you felt about this part, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!